All right. Hello and welcome, students. Myself, Kumar Sarab. Today, I am present in front of you with yet another uh, paragraph related to critical reasoning, which is of course going to help you for your practice and for understanding purposes, the understanding of all the concepts related to uh, critical reasoning as well. So, without wasting any more time, let's just get started. All right. So the passage goes like this: Archaeological evidence shows. That once people settle down in agricultural communities, they begin they began to suffer salt deficiencies, something that they had not experienced before, and so had to make a special effort to find salt and get it into their diet. Salt के बारे में बात हो रही है, ठीक है? ये बताया जा रहा है कि वी हैव आर्कियोलॉजिकल एविडेंसेस विच शो कि जो लोग एग्रीकल्चरल कम्युनिटीज में सेटल हुए उनको सॉल्ट डेफिशिएंसी होना शुरू हो गया जो कि वो ऑफ कोर्स पहले कभी एक्सपीरियंस किए थे नहीं तो इसके लिए उनको एडिशनल एफर्ट्स लगाने पड़े और सॉल्ट ढूंढना पड़ा नमक ढूंढना पड़ा और उसको अपने डाइट में इनकॉर्पोरेट करना पड़ा वन ऑफ द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ हिस्ट्री is how they knew they needed to do so because the absence of salt in the diet awakes no craving ha ye bhi baat hai ki agar aap mein salt ka deficiency hai to usse kuch alag exhibit nahi hota hai koi alag tarike ki craving nahi aati hai craving nahi aati hai aapko it makes you feel bad and eventually kills you without the chloride in salt cells simply shut down like an engine without fuel but at no point would a human being think gosh i could sure do with some salt to aapko alag sa kuch pata nahi chalta hai achanak se chloride ki kami chlorine ki kami hone ki wajah se cells jo hai wo shut down ho jate hain aur aap mar jate hain simple si ye baat boli gayi hai yahan pe so how they knew to go searching for it is an interesting question particularly as in some places getting it required some ingenuity ancient britons for example heated sticks on a beach then doused them in the sea and scraped the salt off to ancient britons ki baat ho rahi hai wo aise karke salts nikalte the aztecs dusra civilization hai by contrast acquired salt by evap evaporating their own urine urine ko evaporate karke these are not intuitive acts to put it mildly yet getting salt into the diet is one of the most profound urges in nature and it is a universal one theek universal cheez hai bhai salt to zaruri hai bina salt ke jeevan nahi ho payega every society in the world in which salt is freely available consumes on average 40 times the amount needed to sustain life we just can't get enough of the stuff ab jahan pe available hai wahan pe on an average 40 guna zyada hum log salt consume karte hain hamara mann nahi bharta salt se basically baat ye salt is now so ubiquitous and cheap that we forget how intensely desirable it was once but for much of history it drove men to the edges of the world अब इतना सस्ता है इतना इजीली अवेलेबल है कि हमें पता नहीं चलता कि एक टाइम पे कितना ज्यादा सॉल्ट आफ्टर था सॉल्ट सॉल्ट वाज नीडेड टू प्रिजर्व मीट एंड अदर फूड्स एंड सो वाज ऑफन रिक्वायर्ड इन वास्ट क्वांटिटीज हेनरी एट हैड 25,000 ऑक्सन स्लॉटर्ड एंड सॉल्टेड फॉर वन मिलिटरी कैंपेन इन फिफ्टीन so salt was a hugely strategic resource in the middle ages caravans of as many as 40000 camels enough to form a column 70 mile long conveyed salt across the sahara from timbuktu to the lively markets of the mediterranean so ye historical examples aapko diye ja rahe hain alag alag reasons se ki salt kitna maayne rakhta tha alag alag time pe alag alag civilizations people have fought wars over it and have been solid into not solid and have been sold into slavery for it so salt has caused some suffering in its time 
but that is nothing compared with the hardship and bloodshed and murderous avarice associated with a range of tiny food uh, food stuff that we don't need at all and could do perfectly well without i refer to salt's complements in the condiment world the spices nobody would die without spices but plenty have died for them ye important baat boli gayi hai ki salt ek aisi cheez hai na jis jo ki bahut zyada quantity mein aapko chahiye nahi bahut zyada bina salt ke bhi aap survive kar sakte ho और कम क्वांटिटी में आप आराम से सरवाइव कर सकते हो बट बहुत सारे लोगों ने अपनी जान दी है सॉल्ट के पीछे एंड द सेम थिंग गोज विद स्पाइसेस एज वेल मसालों के साथ भी यही बात है चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड पीपल कम टू नो दैट दे नीडेड सॉल्ट हियर नन ऑफ द ऑप्शन आर राइट सो नन ऑफ द अब इज गोइंग टू बी द राइट वन ए दे वुड फील एग्जॉस्टेड ड्यू टू लेस सॉल्ट नो कुछ ऐसा अलग एग्जिबिट नहीं होता है आपकी बॉडी में जिससे आपको पता चले कि भाई आपको सॉल्ट की जरूरत है बी दे अप्लाइड इनोवेटिव वेज टू गेट सॉल्ट नो दे डिड नॉट सी सेल शट डाउन ड्यू टू सॉल्ट डेफिशियंसी तो इसकी वजह से पता नहीं चला कि सॉल्ट जरूरी है इट इज वन ऑफ द इफेक्ट सो नन ऑफ दी अब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Each of the following regarding salt and spices is true, except बाकी सारी चीजें सही है एक सही नहीं है वो कौन सा है The right answer is spices are as important as salt. नहीं जितना important salt है उतना important spice नहीं है Again, salt is also something जो कि abundance में आपको जरूरत नहीं है but जरूरत तो है spices के साथ ऐसा नहीं है So B is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, which of the following is the main conclusion of the author? Okay, main conclusion of the author. Let's see. B is the right one to tell the reader the importance of salt and to what lengths humans have gone for it in history. Importance क्या है और किस हद तक humans जा चुके हैं salt के लिए? ये बताना main conclusion. Next question, which of the following is the correct inference? Correct inference. The right answer here is going to be, let's see. A, we consume much more salt than we require. Of course, we do. It is a valid inference. B, people developed sub certain inventive ways to get salt. Yes, they did. C, man loses the value of all things once they are easily available, uh, accessible. No. C, inference नहीं है. C is mentioned in the passage, so it cannot be the inference. So D, which says both A and B, is going to be the right answer. Last question of this passage: What is the relation between the arguments in bold face? Okay, so there is a typo error here. There is no bold face available, so we don't really know what bold face is this question talking about. So I'll have to skip this question because there is no bold face in the passage that you got. So. I'll have to conclude on this note only. Anywho, I hope you guys understood everything which was there in the passage, and you guys were able to solve all the questions as well, except the last question because, of course, the bold face was not present in the passage. So, I'll conclude on this note. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on watching all the videos that we regularly post on our official Clad Gurukul channel on YouTube. Till the time we meet next, do take very good care of yourself. Thank you so much.